All right, welcome to Base Essentials. This is lesson number four and five, a little combination of both. So let's get into it. So last week we learned about country pattern, and I call it country because it's used in country music, also like polka music when it goes. Like this. But that pattern of one low note and one high note, one low note, one high note, a low note, that is called country because it's very typical of that style of music. So let's break it down. Let's start with our C note. So if we're playing a C note, what the pattern is, it's one string over, two frets above. So if I'm on C, third string, the fifth of this C is going to be one string over and two frets up. So I'm going to be playing this C and this G. So those two notes, C and G, is going to be the pattern for country. Now, the cool thing about bass is that when you take this shape and you move it anywhere on the bass, it's going to play the same the same relationship, the same, not the same notes, but the same pattern applies to the whole fretboard of the bass. So we do here for C, and I keep the shape and I move it up to D, now I'm doing the D country pattern. If I move up to E, I'm doing E country pattern. And I can just go down one fret at a time, and this is the country pattern for any of those notes. So if we ever need to go to a G, fourth string and do country there I know that it's one string over and two frets up that's gonna be my second note so I have G and my second note is gonna be D so we have this country pattern on G and D if I go to F sharp let's say I go to F sharp same thing I go one string over and two frets up one two so I'm gonna have F sharp and C sharp and then that's my country pattern for F sharp and if I just move the same shape down to F, I have my F country pattern. Now, it gets a little interesting, but it's not that confusing or difficult. When you go to open strings, what do you play? Because one string is going to be open, but the other one's not. So if we just take the pattern, for example, I'm on G, and we just go down, so G, and then my fifth is G, so G, D, G, D. If I go down to F sharp, it's F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, and I keep this pattern going, F, C, F, C. I just got to move these two fingers down one fret. So if I move F to the open string, it's just going to be open, but now this string has to go down one fret, and that note is B. So we have E, B, E, B, E, B, E, B. So that's the shape for the E open string. And what about A? For A open, it's going to be the same shape. So if A is open, my next string is one or up. So I'm on third string, I got to go to second and then go up two frets. One, two. So for I, when I do A open string, how do I do the country there? It's A and E. So A, E, A, E. And let's say I get A sharp. So up here on A and I go the first fret on that third string. Same thing, one string over and two frets up. So there's my country for A sharp, and I can go keep going up. Here's B, here's C, here's C sharp. And I don't need to know the name of this second note. I just need to know that it's always going to be that distance away. One string over, two frets higher. So here's D, D sharp, and I can go all the way up the neck that same shape until I run out of frets. And then the same thing happens on the third string. If I know this is F, so second string, third fret, that's F, make sure your sounds like mine. This is F, I go one string over and two frets higher, one, two. So that is my shape. And this shape, again, anywhere on the bass that you go, practice it this way you can't do that you just go anywhere and that's the country feel so let's say a little chord progression like d a b g how do i do that country i'm gonna do d here so we have d and my fifth my second note so it's my fifth because it's a relationship of five so we have d five d five d five and then i need to go to a i can go to a on the fourth string 
and do it there. So I'll have a E, A, E, or I'll go open and get E up here. So A, E, A, E, A, E. That's what we got there. And then B, it's B minor, but minor chords don't really affect us. Uh, the chords that do affect us are sharp or flat, but minors and majors don't affect us. So B, there's my B minor, my B5, 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 and then G, fourth string, third fret. So just practicing this shape and being able to move it around. So let's do D, switch to A, ready to go. So let's play that with some some backing track and let's play it a couple times. Three. another progression we're gonna do G a B F sharp and repeat and I'm gonna do it with country too if you want to pick another rhythm to do with this chord progression that's totally cool pick what you need to work on you can always come back and play another one after you're done let's try it out two three this other progression we're gonna do a e f sharp d and i'm gonna do like uh i'll probably do rock and i'll probably do quarters on it a little mix of both let's try it out two ready For this progression, we're going to do B minor, F sharp, G, A, and I'm going to do ballad. So I might do ballad and country. I'll mix those two. Let's try it out. Ballad. Here we go. One. Practice. You need to practice. What do you need to work on? This is our last. 
last time. Crescendo, one and two, three, or rock and end it. So we got our rhythms, diamonds, quarters, what else? Uh, rock, uh, ballad, country, uh, and as long as we have those pretty much five, and I think there might be one more coming, but those five, six essential rhythms going and we're able to play and change to the notes, we're going to be able to play along with the band. So it's important to play along with these uh, YouTube videos because if you're hearing the drum beat and you're counting along with it, it's going to be a lot easier when you start playing with other musicians to hear them play, especially with the drummer. They're going to keep time. And if you count with their time, we're going to be awesome. And that's what we want to be practicing, being able to play something in time and change so that we all change at the same time and we sound like one band. So, so yeah, keep practicing every day. Keep watching the videos. So happy practicing and I'll see you next week.